I am receiving an order to stop by Corpsec. Are you sure it's Corpsec? I don't see anyone. The signal is from close by, but I don't know where exactly. It seems like Corpsec, but there is no incident number. They normally send an incident number. This is Corpsec. You're speaking to Agent Rio. We have reason to believe you are harboring a known criminal, rogue android Huxley. Rio again? Why are you following us? Is this personal? You are currently breaking the law. Corpsec requires you to turn in your passenger and surrender yourself to... Camus, you said the signal is close by. I don't think this Rio is on official business. Is he affecting any of your systems? No. If we drive, we could get out of his range. You have 60 seconds to comply. If he's not really Corpsec, I think we should run for it. But if he is, he might call for backup to chase us. Maybe we should call his bluff. Escape from the signal, so... Let's try to... Go across zones? didn't seem to work. Timer's almost down. You know what? Fine. Arrest us. We'll talk to Corpsec officers about everything we know, including your boss. But we don't want to be arrested. This is bad. Quiet, Camus. If they wanted to arrest us, they wouldn't be talking. I don't think this is really Corpsec. Something is off. Don't start a battle with me, girl. I'll make it into a war. Either arrest us or let us go. Drop this. Drop that android. Get yourself out of this mess while you can. I won't warn you again. He has disconnected. Let's get moving, Camus. Oh, this area that we can never go into in the sewers. Now we can go there. Cool. I don't suppose this is a shortcut. Camus, where is this nav point taking us? The Alexa Theater. Maybe no. Peter lives in an apartment above it? Lurk in the lobby. Yeah, that would be my guess. Peter would be working the popcorn stand, mixing up the hottest flavors. Caramel and anchovy with cinnamon protein flakes. Ready for the next screening of some piece of trash anti-android prop films. Cyborgs Ate My Babies 3. Is that a real movie? Yes. I saw it advertised on a poster. Gross. We are getting a message. It is from Control. Put him through. He is not on comm, it's just a text message. He says that Corpsec networks are down all over the city. There's a Corpsec security point between here and the Alexa Theater, but if we go on foot, we might be able to get through. I'm not sure Corpsec really are looking for us. I think it was just that one guy trying to scare us off. Agent Rio? Yeah. You're okay to go on your own, Huxley, right? We can drop you at the security point? In a simple world, that would be the plan. But this was a complicated city. Security points like that one couldn't be crossed by an android without a human to accompany them. What? Why? I know why. On the holovids, they said something about an android virus. Humans are worried that the androids are going crazy in this zone. That sounds like crazy propaganda. Who would believe that? The dame didn't know her history. Truth is, that neighborhood was never the friendliest for rust buckets like me to begin with. Back in 69, the riots hit the district hard. Alexa Theater was ground zero. I'll come through with you then. If the security points are down, they shouldn't have any reason to stop us. But just be cool, Huxley. Try to speak like... 
Actually, just try to be completely silent once we're there. Can you do that? I'm impressed. Good evening, ma'am. We've got a problem with our system right now. I'm gonna have to ask you to be patient while I manually read through your record. We can't contact HQ right now. No problem. Is your android friend all right? Does he speak? Oh no, he's mute. He's always been mute. He doesn't have any recent issues with speech or anything. He's been behaving very normally. So, problems with your system, huh? That must be a bummer. That's the weird thing. It's not the system itself. It's the agents working the security posts. I swear, if we had unions, we'd be on strike. They got us working hours so long, half the agents are like zombies. So we clear to go ahead, or...? Then we got all these reports of androids going nuts. Turns out, there ain't no evidence that it's the androids at all. We got failed neurolog men sparking paranoia. They should be locking up the humans. What's causing all this? Who knows? My old man says the city AI has a virus and it's infected us all. The humans, the androids, the programs controlling sanitation, traffic, everything. You believe that? Sure. But he also says they put mind control drugs in the toothpaste, and I'm gonna be a rich corpse CEO before I'm 30, so... Can we go? What's that? Oh, sure, uh, whatever. Uh, get going. And don't let your android buddy out of your sight. It's not safe for his kind in this zone. That was easy. Hi, do you work here? We're looking for a guy called... The hell are you doing here? You're gonna get us both killed, Huxley! So, this was the client. I had pictured a hard-working man in a cheap suit. But instead, I was looking at a greasy-looking... Shut your mouth! You got some nerve coming into this neighborhood and speaking to me like that, Huxley. Look, we just want to help you find your daughter. Shit. Look, this is all a hustle, and it's way out of my league. She ain't really my daughter. Who paid you to say she was? If I tell you that, you're as dead as I am. I've been driving all over the city trying to find this girl. I'm not giving up on this now. Just tell me where I can find her, okay? Just forget her. She's probably fine. The way his voice shook, we all knew he was lying. It's the memory chip in her head they need. It's not about the girl. No one cares about the girl. Huxley does. Just let him do his job. Rio. That's all I can say. Talk to Rio. Wait, the corpse sec agent? He just threatened us. Before you talk to me? Hey, that's great. That means he won't know we talked. Or he thinks I talked already. Shit. Just get out of here, will you already? We should go, Huxley. This is getting dangerous. It would get more dangerous, but I had to stick around. It's not safe here, Huxley. It was too late for me. The security checkpoints would be up again. I'd be caught if I went through. Besides, I had some leads I wanted to follow here. Damn it. Well, call me if you need me again, Huxley. I'll see you around. It's not personal, okay? 
It has uh, nothing to do with our last discussion. You're not being punished. It's just, well, there's no one else available. That doesn't sound good. What's the job? We need you down in Gallows Row. There's uh, been an accident. What kind of accident? Uh, reports are mixed. We think it's a gas leak. Uh, toxic. Some folk are saying it's radioactive. Um, we're pretty sure it's not a zombification virus. And it's definitely not a neural implant ransomware attack. Well, I mean, not definitely, but probably. That all sounds so reassuring, Control. The point is, uh, we're pretty sure the area where you're going is safe. Communication in and out of Gallows Row has broken down, and uh, Corpsack have uh, set up a perimeter. But Cloudpunk has received a contract from an external security agency to extract persons of value. So I'm a taxi now? Uh, more like a short-term contracted emergency response vehicle. An ambulance? Uh, yeah, but an ambulance for anyone who might have good private security or health insurance, or anyone who would be valuable to society. You know, CEOs, doctors, anyone with diamond fillings in their teeth. So you don't know who's down there? We're getting scattered reports. Now, this is a lucrative job. You can squeeze three people in your hava. I'm not saying you need to save the three richest assholes you can find. But make sure they have enough resources to cover the bribes that'll get them back out of the quarantine zone. And then when they get back, make sure they have the, the savings or insurance policies to, you know, turn us a profit. So at least one rich asshole. Eh, maybe two, just to be safe. Great. So how do I get to this poisonous, radioactive dead zone filled with rich zombies? There's an abandoned Corpsec security station just inside the quarantine zone. Corpsec are expecting you, so they'll let you through the perimeter. Once you get inside, just blend in as best you can. Ask people their stories. Yeah, you know, use your judgment. And only mention you can get someone to safety when you're sure you want them as a passenger. Great. How long till this shift is over, Control? Don't sweat it, kid. The night is almost half done. When's your shift end, Control? My shift? I can't even remember when it began, kid. I'm pretty sure I'll be doing this forever. Control out. They didn't want it. You are of the forbidden type. I guess so. As am I. So they threw you out of their cult when they discovered you were the wrong blood type? No, they banished me when my type changed. I was given a transfusion after a hover crash. But if they gave you a transfusion, it would have to be the same blood type, right? No, they gave me the forbidden type. All negative. Ah, I get it. And even after they kicked you out, you wanted to give your stuff back? It's not their fault that I was tainted. I've got to say, your religion seems pretty arbitrary about who it lets in. You forbidden types often speak this way. Well, me and you are the same as far as they're concerned now. You gonna give me the other half of the payment? What do you think? He was not very nice. Hey, we got paid, even if it was only half. I hope he is in another accident. Whoa, Camus, that's a bit much. He is bad. It is not good to exclude people like that. Normally I'd agree, but in this case, the less people allowed in that weird cult, the better.
Ah, another one of those places that we couldn't enter. Yeah, it's looking pretty beat up. You see that huge crack in the windshield? <laughs> I should repair that thing. You're T-posing too? It's the newest rage. This whole area is about to be quarantined, ma'am. I know you got a contract to pick up some folk, but you gotta be quick. If you're not back soon, you're gonna get stuck on the other side. I understand. Hi, how are you? I am good, thank you. My service tag is GN. How are you doing? Peachy? Are you brand new? You're so shiny. I am 18 hours old, and I have to say, I've only spoken to six people so far, but I have liked almost all of them. Almost all? I also spoke to Mr. Sharp. So, you're fresh out of the box. What is your programming? My default functions have not yet been set. I was purchased by a restaurant and was activated by a chef and another chef who talked to me about cooking and also food. Sounds like you were going to be a chef. Why do you say that? Just a hunch. So what happened? All the humans in the restaurant started to cough. Then they were rolling, then twitching, then they were still. I guess they were poisoned by the gas leak and you were the only one left? Yes, they didn't instantiate my base programming so I am in generic mode. I just love to be helpful. It's my favorite thing. What will you do if you can get out of here, GN? I don't think I will get out. They will send me back to the factory to be wiped. But you've already been activated. If they wipe you, won't that be like? I do not want to go, but if I am not wiped, I have one recorded owner and my market value will be far less. If I am wiped, I can be sold as new. But androids can't be owned anymore, not since the law changed. We're only considered emancipated after we've been born. And we aren't born till we're given a name. You have a name? No, that is my service tag. Can I give you a name? No, only my first legal employer can do that. And they don't give us a name till we sign a work contract, usually for at least 10 years. What about if I got you out of here? Perhaps, I would like to help people. I really like helping. I have only done 12 different things so far, but helping is by far my favorite. Much better than worrying about my own mortality. Well, they're a pretty good candidate to take with me. I like them. Hi, I'm Rania. So, uh, looks like we're stuck here, Mr. I'm sorry, I don't have any business cards left. Um, me neither. But you can still tell me your name, right? I guess so. The cards are eggshell with a hollow finish. The font is an archaic neoclassic choice called Tahoma. They have my office number, so I never forget where I work. And they say your name, which is? Oh, right. Quincy Sharp, CEO. CEO? Wow. For which corp? Again, I'd have to check my card. You don't know which corp you work for? We just went through a rebranding. I really couldn't say. You know, I've always wondered, what does CEO stand for? No one remembers. We just use it for the upper level management and corpse. How do you get a job as a CEO? Foresight, leadership, boldness. Thinking both inside and outside the box. Blue sky thinking, being a savage, originality. Those are the characteristics that make you a real game changer. And money, right? No one works up to be a CEO these days. You need limbs in the first place. I always see money as a kind of energy force, and I've been able to act as a conduit and channel that energy through positive thinking. My father also left me a small trust fund. Uh-huh. Is anyone worried about you back home? My father, for sure. Although, we haven't spoken since I faked an alibi for my brother-in-law after he ran over that colored lady. Oh, God. I should go. Welp. Octavius Butler, hello. Hi, 
Hi, I remember you. Oh, thank Cora you're here. It's good to see you, miss. I was so thankful to Skypunks for their help before. I was hoping you could help me once again. I'm sorry to see you trapped here. Of course you are. It must be very distressing for you to see someone like me stuck here with the rest. I need you to get a message to Mr. Octavius Butler. He'll know what to do. Maybe I can help you. Of course you can. This is a serious matter. You need to get Mr. Octavius Butler. You must remember a message for me. Can you do that? Maybe. Here is the message. I am trapped in Gallows Row. Come and save me. Do you need to write this down, dear? I think I can remember it. I understand there is toxic gas. I'm not sure how long we'll be safe here. There is no one authorized to take us to safety. But don't worry, Mr. Octavius Butler will know what to do. You know, I might be able to take you... Mr. Butler, dear, get going quickly now. Hi, my name's Rania. I'm just chatting with everyone to pass the time. How are you doing? Why are you asking so many questions? I didn't think I was. Look, it wasn't my fault. You know that. I know that. The lab has accidents all the time. It was definitely one of the interns. Do you work in a lab? I own the lab. And no, none of us could have predicted the... Are you with Corpsec? Definitely not. If you can find a way to get me out of here, I'll make it worth your while. I told the Corpsec officers at the perimeter that I had rescue insurance, but they didn't believe me. You believe me, right? Sure, I'll just go get you some help. Hello, miss. Not miss. I'm a doctor. Oh, sorry about that. Are you okay, doctor? Yes. <laughs> yes, sorry for snapping. This is all just very stressful. My name is Dr. Ochoa. Nice to meet you. Are you a... I'm just stuck here like you. What happened? They say it was a toxic gas leak. Some of my patients have been having trouble with their breathing in the last few weeks. I thought it was just smog. But I guess it was much worse than that. Are you sick? I have no symptoms of respiratory illness. I am feeling lightheaded, but I think it's the heat in here. And the stress. Have you talked to that butler woman? What a nightmare. What caused the toxic gas? I don't know. The whole city is falling apart. Explosions, gas leaks, trash mountains, logic virus bombs, whole districts getting relocated. The economy is in constant flux. My grandmother was an old tech priest. She used to say the city has a spirit, and that spirit gets a little angrier every year. You don't believe that, right? You're a doctor. No, I don't believe the city is the avatar of a new dark god rising. My grandmother had early onset dementia. So why is everything in the city getting worse then? No one else will say it, but when you're a doctor, you learn that sometimes you just have to say, I don't know. Questions create a vacuum that answers want to fill, but bad answers are worse than no answers. What will you do when you get out? Drink some vodka, phone my ex-husband and tell him I still hate him, but he can stop worrying about me. Eat some takoyaki. Do you, will you be able to afford the rescue insurance if someone picks you up? No way. I've only been out of medical college 10 years. It doesn't matter though. No one's coming anyway. We're just gonna have to wait it out. Yeah, I guess so. They're definitely coming with me. Um, hi. Can I talk with you for a minute, sir? Mom, yes, Mom. Sergeant Kai, pleased to meet you. My name is Rania. How long have you been in the army? 312 years, man and boy. Or oh, android and circuit board. Am I right? 
<laughs> yeah, good one. Hey, what do you know about this accident? Very little, Mom. I'm on need to know programming, and I do not need to know this. Do you have any friends or family looking for you? I got the old boys waiting for me at the oil guzzler. It's my local. Are you retired? Yes, Mom. There's not many of us Mark Aids left in the city. We're antiques. I was originally programmed to run an all-terrain vehicle during the Rat Wars. The Rat Wars? Were you really fighting? Rats, yeah. Well, at first, they grow pretty big in the lower levels of Nivalis, scurrying down corridors in swarms, hundreds of them, millions, big as horses. Was it really a war if you were fighting rats? It sounds more like you were an exterminator. If you'd been there, you would have called it a war. And I don't suppose you have much savings as a veteran either? Barely a penny to my name. They're not bad. It is Camus, Camus the dog. I am messaging Rania with a very important message. Yeah, Camus, you don't need to, what is it? The guards are saying the gate will close soon and no one will get out. You need to come back. I can't decide who to take. There is only room for three. I know. And we need to take passengers who can cover the costs of rescue for Cloudpunk. At least, I think we do. Should I just take the people I like? I don't know, but you have to choose now. You should talk to the people you want to save, then get out of there quickly. All right, I'll tell them. I know who I'm going to choose, I think. Definitely Dr. Ochoa. Dr. Ochoa, I actually have a vehicle. I can get past the security checkpoint. I can get you out of here. Really? But what about everyone else? I only have a few spaces. We need to go now. I'll gather my things. Meet me at the security checkpoint in two minutes. Let's grab one sort of rich person. I don't know if the professor's rich, but they do have rescue insurance. Professor, I can get you out of here. Do you want to come with me? Really? Why? Am I under arrest? What? No. I'm just a delivery driver with a rescue subcontract. I have a vehicle and clearance to leave the quarantine zone. Why didn't you say? Get me out of here. Before everyone realizes that although this wasn't my fault, some might wrongly attribute this whole disaster to me. Whatever. I'll see you at the checkpoint in two minutes. Be ready to leave. Now, who's the third? I guess the only two decent people left is the sergeant or exterminator <laughs> and the brand new android. Um, I'm going to go with the android. Hey, GN, I think you deserve a better life than 24 hours of consciousness before your personality gets wiped. I'm getting you out of here. Really? This is the most exciting thing that's happened in my whole life. Just be ready to leave. I'll get you at the checkpoint in a minute, okay? Right. Yeah. I'll just start packing my things. I'm done packing. Interesting bunch of refugees you picked up here, Rania. Thanks for including me. This is my best Hava journey ever. In fact, this is my favorite day of my life. Much better than yesterday. I can't wait to get to parts of the city where people aren't dying as frequently. When you get back to safety, just remember, you didn't see me. And I acted completely innocently, just like someone who didn't know anything about the accident. Let's repair. Oh, wait, right, we can't park. 
Let's not repair. Getting a call. It is Huxley again. What should I do? Put him through. I had her. I finally had her. Now all I needed was a way out. Huxley, did you find Pashta? The dame was sharp, but I needed an exit strategy, not a pat on the back. I'll come get you. Send me an aft point. I hope she would get here soon. The situation was going south quicker than the Americans when the ice caps melted. Question, where's the mechanic? <laughs> um, normally they'd be right here. Okay. What? Hey, what? We had to get going. The girl was in danger. We all were. I gave the dame a nap point for a hideout we could use. It might even be safe. Who are you? I'm Rania. I just want to help. Huxley is a friend. You can trust him. I know that. I trust him. He saved me. Fair enough. We'll get you out of here, then leave you to... Huxley, what exactly is the plan? Do we take her back to... Not back. I don't want to go back to him. Pashta, do you know why this happened to you? Because of the chip? In your head? The neural memory implant? Yeah. They gave me the implant so I can do better at school. Dad said he wanted me to be a data analyst one day because data analysts sometimes become CEOs. Is that what you wanted? I wanted to be in corpsec like him, but he said it was a bad job. So your dad wanted the memory chip removed? He wanted it erased, but I said I didn't want it. It would make me forget a lot more than just the meeting. The meeting? Dad met with people he shouldn't. I heard everything they said. Dad said it was evidence. He said we can never leave behind any evidence. So your dad erased your memory implant? He took me to a man to do it. It hurt. I don't think Dad paid the man. That's why they were mad at him. That's why they sent me away. And you don't want to go back to your father now? I won't go back to him. It made me forget too much. I can't even remember Mom anymore. I just remember how much I hate him. How did you find her, Huxley? Busting the kid out hadn't been easy. I'm pretty sure I upset the wrong people. But everyone in Nivalis was the wrong people these days. I'd followed the leads I got from the two-bit mobster who pretended to be her father, Peter. In the grand scheme of things, he was the least terrible of the bunch. I can't believe you found her, Huxley. Oh no, it is happening again. 
Someone else is on the comm. You were warned, Cloud Punk Driver. Surrender now and hand over the android Huxley. There was one more hand I could play. It was a desperate plan, but I was done for anyway. There was a number on my head now, and it was a big one. I should turn myself in, then push the big red button. At least the girl might make it. What big red button? My frame was an old espionage bot. Ancient, a bucket of bolts. But it did have one feature I was pretty sure would still work. Self-destruct. All I had to say was a specific combination of words. It would prime my fuse, introduce a little spark into my house of dynamite. I could get rid of Rio for good. Oh no. Do you have to do that? That would be bad. Is it really a button? I'd asked the dame and her dog for a lot of help. The least I could do for them was clear the way. I explained that it wasn't really a big red button. Rather, it was a phrase that if I said or heard, would trigger the detonation sequence. The words were simple enough. I just had to say... No. Pasta, it might work. We could escape. Huxley saved me. And I hate Rio, but he is still my dad. I didn't know this. Did everyone else know this? No, but it adds up, I guess. Let me talk to him. I'm not sure... Trust me. Please. I can do this. Okay, the comm is open. Go ahead. Dad, it's me. Pasta? Pasta, honey. These aren't good people. Listen to me, Dad. Just listen. Remember when Mom got sick? Do you remember what present I brought to the hospital for Mom? Pasta, I... You don't remember. It was a little bird. I made it from folded paper. She said it would stay by her side forever. Oh, I remember, honey. Listen to me. I need you to... No, you listen. I didn't remember the bird because you stole my memories from me. But I wrote it down. Even my scribbles are better at remembering Mom than you are. I wrote down a lot. I wrote down everything you said at that meeting, too. The one that made you do this to me? Pasta, all I care about is your safety. I had to erase the memories so that they wouldn't come for you. No, Dad. You only cared about not being caught. If you cared about me, you would have turned yourself in, instead of stealing my memories. Now you listen here. If you have told anyone else... I haven't, but I will, if you don't let me go. I wrote down all the words that you said at that meeting. And if you don't leave us alone right now, and stay away forever, I will send them in a message to Corpsec. I can't just let you go. No, Dad. You actually can. You can let me go, and your secrets are safe. Or, you can tell me that you don't care about how much trouble you'll get in and turn yourself in. And I'll wait for you to get out of jail, or whatever happens. I'll stay by your side forever, if you give up. Damn it, just give yourself up, Rio. He... he's left the calm. Oh no. What a kicker. Her pops had abandoned her. He was letting her go, poor kid. Pashta, I'm sorry, I... It's fine. I knew he would go, and leave me behind. It's what he does. Let's keep going. I won't leave your side, kid. Yes, you will. Everyone does. You're still moving, Rania? Lomo? Um, yeah. Remember what I told you. The city moves real fast, and you got to move with it. I'm trying my best. What do you want, Lomo? You made some tough choices, Rania. People got hurt. I don't blame you. I think you did the right thing. But some other folk, their choices weren't so good. What do you mean? I'm going to ask you for something that I know you won't give me. Still, I have to ask, and you have to answer. Our choices have narrowed to a point, Rania. We've just got to play our parts from here. What are you talking about? I did what you asked. This isn't about you or even me. This is about what you have. You have to bring that girl back to me. She's the dead. What girl? Let's not do this. I'm asking, but I know your answer. Bring her to me. Last chance. No. All right then. No hard feelings, Rania. To be honest, I would have thought less of you if you said yes. But debt is like a weight, and if you want someone to carry it, you've got to graft that weight to their bones. You understand? 
No. You will. Your hollow heart will crack like ice. Five minutes to self-destruct. Oh no. What the hell? How could the scumbag know? I don't keep the best hacker in the city around for his singing voice. Your number's up, Huxley. You're deader than the dance hall. It was true. I was a goner. Four minutes, 50 seconds to self-destruct. You're going to kill us all. You said you wouldn't. You're free to drop him off. In fact, I highly recommend you do. Stop this. I'll find a way to... As your robot friend might say, you were never going to come out of this shit smelling like roses. Goodbye, Ranya. He has disconnected. It isn't fair. We have to help him. There was a way to get out of this, but it was a long shot. A damn long shot. What long shot? The vents. If we could get there in time, maybe I could find an old hackbot and disarm the self-destruct sequence. Why aren't you driving faster? We have to save him. Shit. Okay, let's go. All right. Where do we find this hackbot? You said you had five minutes about... How could I tell her that it wasn't as easy as interfacing with an old machine? So tell me what you need. I needed the dame to look after Pashta. No more, no less. What do you mean? Why are you just standing there? Truth was, there was no hackbot. I was done. Only the girl mattered now. I needed the dame to take her in. I can't do that. I can't just take on a child, Huxley. The dame protested, but I knew in the end she would do the right thing. She had to get moving. Damn it, Huxley. It shouldn't be like this. It's not fair. Fair is what we make it. Ugh, you deserve better than this. I told her to get back into her car and her safety. I was able to insert lines of code into my core loop to delay the big moment, but I wasn't able to prevent it. Goodbye, Renya. Why didn't you save him? 
We couldn't save him. You knew that. We all knew it. Bye, Huxley. I knew he would leave. Don't you dare say anything bad about Huxley. Never again. He gave everything for you. For us. Where are you taking me? Back to my apartment. Really? Shush. Let's just drive in quiet for a little while. Well, at least Pasha is going to have a lot of video game consoles and stuff in the apartment. <laughs> Pizza subscription. We don't even need to cook for them at all. Just They can just have pizza all day. Field. So, I don't really have much food right now. I'm not hungry. Is this your whole house? Yes, it's plenty big for me and Camus. How long can I stay here? I'll get some food when my shift finishes. In the meantime, there's some fruit and moshi in the fridge. The fridge? The thing that keeps the food cold? Oh yeah, 
I knew that. Just make yourself at home, but don't touch anything. You can watch the hollow vids or whatever. When do I have to leave? Look, you... you don't have to leave. I won't send you away until there's somewhere you want to go. I don't want to go anywhere. Nowhere is home anymore. Then this is the best nowhere you have right now. I won't be long. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Okay then, I'll see you soon, Pashta. Rania, I... I know Huxley saved us. Good. He said we need to stick together, so we will. I'll see you when the sun comes up. Bye, Rania. Oh, I've got unlocked second bed. I think Pashta would like a second bed. Nice. Driver 14 FC, come oh, in. Oh, I'm here. New job available. Okay, I'm ready. New job available. You already said that. Are you okay? I'm really not in the mood. Control, can you just talk normally, please? It's been a long night. New nav point generated. Your voice sounds weird. I've had enough bad surprises for one night. What's going on? Please proceed to the nav point. No, everything is normal. Well, that's reassuring. Okay, I'm on my way. Rania out. Is Mr. Control okay? I don't think so, Chemis. Let's go to the nav point. We have no other choice. Yeah, this is another cursed nav point. Just like the one where Corpse X Security met us there. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to walk into a blatant trap.